Hello, I am Ovi of OviDuran.com. Today we are going to take a look at CCleaner, which is a small utility for Microsoft Windows computers that cleans out the junk that accumulates over time in any hard drive. CCleaner can clean out temporary files, broken shortcuts, and other problems. It can also delete your browsing history and temporary internet files. One other thing it can do is to clean up the Windows registry by removing information that's incorrect or no longer needed. You can download it from www.periform.com. CCleaner cannot remove viruses, spyware, or malware. For that, you will need to use other programs, which I discuss in other videos. This version of CCleaner will run in all versions of Windows, including Server 2003 and 2008. It will also run on a Mac 10.5 or later. To download, and install, click on the download button right here. Look for the free version and click on download again. You may get a pop-up like I just did. Just click on the save file button and save it to your desktop. I've already done this step, so we are going to skip that. So here is the icon or the download, it's called CC Setup 407, 407 meaning version 4.07. Just double click it. The computer's gonna ask me for my admin rights. By the way, I never log, on, log into a computer uh, using admin credentials and I'm logged in right now as a uh, regular user. So click on next. Leave these by default. Uh, I don't like the program to automatically check for updates. I, I do that myself once a month. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck that and click on install. It's going to take uh, maybe 30, 35 seconds to install. It's really quick. I do not want to view the release notes, and I'm going to click on Finish. Intelligently scan for cookies to keep. Yes. All right, C Cleaner. By default, it checks all of these uh, boxes. But I'm going to go ahead and unclick cookies. I like to keep my cookies. And I also like to keep my recently typed URLs before I run it. And as you can see, it checks for temporary internet files, history, dot that files last download location uh, windows explorer files recent documents run other etc it also cleans up your empty uh, empties out your recycle bin and clipboard etc this is the uh, registry registry tool we're going to run that later uh, tools it has some uh, you can uninstall any program it's currently installed in your computer by just clicking on the program and by clicking here where it says run uninstaller. Startup, these are all of your startup files. When your computer boots up, all of these programs are running. You can just select one. You can click on disable or delete. I do not recommend this. You do anything with this section unless you know what you're doing. File Finder, System Restore. I should have two or three restore points for my computer, and there they are. There, there's two of them. I can delete or remove as I as I wish, but I'm just I like to have two restore points at all times. Drive Wiper. Um, you want to clean out your disk, wipe your drive entirely. That's what that's that is for. But we're gonna leave that alone. Options, settings, 
For example, here I can run CCleaner when the computer starts. If I check that, and when, I, when my computer boots up, CCleaner will automatically start. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it. Cookies. As you can see, I have a few cookies. Uh, if I click on them and I move them over to this side, I can keep the cookie the cookies when the cleaner is working or trying to delete files from my computer. Uh, in this case, I want to get rid of them except for my Wireshark cookies. I want to go ahead and bring them over to this side. So it'll save after CCleaner runs. And here we have some advanced settings. But most of, the, most of you for only uh, use uh, the cleaner, the cleaner um, option or and or the registry. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on cleaner, click on analyze. And these are the files that it found, which uh, should be clean from my computer. So go ahead and run, click on run cleaner, click OK. and it removed 28.3 megabytes let's analyze one more time just to make sure that it did wipe them all and it did now we're going to go to registry and i'm going to go uh, click scan for issues It found several registry files that should should be deleted. Then click on fix selected issues. Now it's asking if I want to back up any changes to the registry. You should always say yes and back it up to to your documents folder, your desktop, wherever. So I'm going to go ahead and save them to my documents library folder and then you can either uh, select fix an issue or fix all selected issues and there we are it deleted every one of them and there you have it well i hope you like this video Again, I am Ovi Duran, and if you found this video useful, please click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.